It's a family run business, uh, family owned, and, and we still bring that uh, to our clients. And I think it's that value proposition that is the differentiator in, in Burn Group. Everybody wants everything now. It's, it, it has to be a safe project. It has to be environmentally friendly. Um, and it also has to be quality driven and price driven. Um, the, those four now are, are, are just a standard forms that everyone expects all those boxes to be ticked. Thankfully we can do that. Well, safety to us is paramount. It's the bedrock on which we've built the business. If you haven't got a safe business, you haven't got a business. The Burn Group is a family business and um, we like to think of our employees as an extension of that family. And less and less we're working uh, without having to police. It's now ingrained in our business and, and that's the best way forward. Quality is a, a massive aspect and uh, you know the UK is, is, has I think high expectations of safety, high expectations of quality um, and it's, it's important to deliver quality products for our clients. Our management systems, our management structure, being able to deliver things right the first time gives us the opportunity to work for our clients again. We have a very long repeat order business list that I'm very proud of. When you look at projects like the Shard, um, the Olympic Stadium. Iconic buildings that everybody knows, the O2 Arena, Arsenal Football Club, Chelsea Football Club. They're a legacy to everybody that worked on them uh, and in them. And people have a huge sense of pride in this business, in, in, in the projects they've delivered. Yeah, we've got access to um, a large number of um, skilled people. It is important because uh, we need to have good people to deliver quality projects as we, as we do. Burns treat their people well. And I can see there's a culture of respect and trust in, in the business. And I think this extends not just to people within the Burn Group, but how they treat their, their clients, their subcontractors and their suppliers. I believe that uh, they, they, they treat their own employees and their supply chain extraordinarily well. Um, yes, they are very, very challenging, but they expect to have uh, uh, very much uh, interaction with you uh, and they expect things to happen if you're going to promise they happen. The, you know, the evolution through time of, of CAD through to um, where we are today in terms of 3D modelling and BIM uh, has, has certainly led to uh, well, better, better being able to collaborate with uh, a wider audience in terms of design, in terms of um, manufacture, uh, up and down the supply chain uh, and also out into the field. We make sure that efficiency and value is an integral part of our business to make sure you know, that, to know that the client is getting what they want on time and within budget. The big difference is, is they work hard to actually pay you to those terms. Where we find the tendency is now is that people would use all available techniques to delay from a payment perspective, as long as we get our invoicing right, we get paid on time. We rate uh, very highly uh, Burns Group uh, as, as a prime customer. The end result is, is, is giving the client what he expects. Um, you know, and as, as Elmer's, you know, since day dot, since I've been working with them, like quality is everything. Customer comes first. We will deliver. Quality is everything in our business. Um, after safety, it is, it is the primary driver that we seek to uh, enhance quality on, on a daily basis. We have a good reputation, um, but you're only as good as your last job. Training is very important uh, to the company. I know that by how many training requests we get put through and how many actually get approved. Training was given quite good, I understand it quite clearly. Everyone always helps out even if I forget something. They always show me new things, I'm learning more on a day to day. The Shard uh, training was invaluable. Uh, it was one of those projects where, because the risk was so high and the project was so complex, there was so much research and development required to actually even construct the Shard that without training I think we couldn't have built it. We went ahead and obviously invested in um, our online training DVDs and uh, an online test to be able to underpin the level of understanding that the guys had of what they were going to do when they arrived at level 70. When you're involved with something and you see it completed and you see it all finished, 
you think back to yourself like I was involved with that and it's a great achievement, great achievement. We try and build relationships with clients, you have long-term relationships, but I think that very much starts as well with the relationships you have within your own workforce and building a workforce that's, that enjoys working, it's committed. I think then that goes out to the marketplace as well. It's vital for everyone that works for us to work as a team, right from work winning, right through to the building work that we do on site. But we've got room for individuals that have ideas too. Everyone make sure you're having a good day, seeing if you've done your work properly, if you've got problems you can always go to someone. I make aware of the team what are the legal requirements but also what Bank Group wants to achieve further from those legal requirements in terms of waste segregation, cost um, storage, um, dust, emissions, noise, assessments. We've saved something like 30,000 tonnes of carbon over the last 10 projects. Within the business itself we've got a, a great waste management structure that uh, we're recycling over 98% of our waste um, annually. some great opportunities coming up now with uh, projects in central London and, and outside London. I think there's a there's definitely appears to be a lift in, across the marketplace which will equally provide a challenge for us but um, it's looking good. <laughs>